Okay, today let's talk about chaperone mediated autophagy because every day of every second of your life, your body is making proteins and they work for a while, then they don't, and they have to get rid of. You got to get rid of these proteins. They're broken, they're folded, they're not doing any good, they're just wasting space and creating toxic cytokines. So, the idea here is during this later phase of autophagy, chaperone mediated, you've got your macrophages taking big cargo, you've got microphages taking the smaller stuff on organelles, now you've got this stuff. In this particular point in time, it's kind of two directions. One is, are the chaperones that will take this stuff to a lysosome, and too big for these chaperones to get, and they have to go to a different system. So let's talk about chaperone first. Chaperone's pretty easy. Uh, there are these proteins that get attached to the folded protein if they're short enough. The chaperones are taking these molecules to the surface, they're feeding the proteins in, they're unlacing and going inside the cell. It's a beautiful thing. Uh, the other system is that other one. Um, if they're too big, okay, and they're brought over to a ubiquinone proteasome grinding tool, basically there's a a molecular head that lifts up in response to the magnetic field effects of this thing binding with it and it gets inside of it, goes into a little chipper like so, comes out as little little strings of amino acids and peptides. Um, those are small enough for the cytosol to dissolve back into amino acids so the cell can make more protein. Um, but the thing about this is it doesn't kick in until hour 10. So if you're at hour 10, after going to sleep at 8 o'clock in the evening, where are you? 6 in the morning? 7, 8 in the morning? You're ready to eat. And so that short period of time where this thing finally kicks in, you're just cutting it off. Time, okay? And uh, these proteins build up. They lead to senescence. Senescence needs to be dealt with, either in this way to control that action, or of course take piston, easy stuff. But uh, theoretically, if you control the amount of these broken proteins because you're providing the, uh, the component parts during nutrition and exercise and hormonal release during that exercise to start your body into a regeneration cycle, then, uh, and dry fasting certainly does that, you're supposed to feed the thing during the time you're eating and then not feed it at all anything during the time you're repairing. I mean, that's why digestion confounds this whole thing because digestion takes energy. Anyway, um, that's it for today. I'll be getting into some of the finer aspects. People have asked about the endoplasmic reticulum. <laughs> yeah, I know. And uh, the Goji bodies, which are intimately involved in this and stacking proteins and stuff. And uh, That was in response to how does this stuff actually happen? Well, there's a series of steps out of the nucleus where proteins are entered into the Golgi bodies to be made into larger protein groups to be able to be useful in the body. Your body is constantly making proteins, like I said at the beginning, and because of that, your body is constantly having to get rid of them, and that's what these two autophagies do. Talk to you soon.